This is a virtual reality device to train the patient with movement disorders caused by neurological diseases to walk correctly. Parkinson's disease patients, multiple sclerosis, brain stroke patients are usually the best candidates for this device. I uh, was doing research for NASA. It was a computer program that, uh, that does this uh, optical navigation of helicopters. A couple of years later, I uh, watched a news clip on television and uh, it told the story of a patient who had Parkinson and was doing a lot better walking on tiled floors. I connected uh, that to my previous research on helicopter navigation. And then I thought, okay, uh, if that helps, then why don't I give patients the tiled floor by virtual means? There is a box which is uh, attached to the pens and this has sensors, motion sensors. So as the patient moves, it measures the patient's motion and translates it into a visual image of tiled floors, which he walks on and the floor responds dynamically to the patient's motion. And then there are, there are also these earphones in which he hears uh, his steps. So if he sees a nicely flowing image of a floor and he hears a rhythmic uh, sound in his ears, he knows he's walking a steady, consistent pattern of walk. And uh, if this gets scrambled, or off tune, he corrects it by changing the pattern of, of walking. That's how this virtual reality device trains the brain to bypass the diseased areas of the brain. Of course, the Technion uh, encourages personal innovation and was uh, very important in bringing this uh, virtual reality into reality.